welcome combatants so Luis Tan kind of does confirm that the film might just be about Kitana but he says more and a little bit more but do like subscribe in the bell notification follow me to the future for more content so yes when it comes to MK2 the test screenings everything that has gone on it seems that Luis Tan has had a few things to say now the things that he has to say obviously go towards well maybe just about the haters and also people sharing their experience about Mortal Kombat and how they approach him when they see him and what they speak and what he says but it's a question afterwards that really got people so as you can see right here he goes had a um, guy point today said he was a fan of MK since he was a kid and watched the movie more time um, 10 times can't wait for the second one and this happens almost once a day much love to you guys and to the haters on X he gave the middle finger a funny post and it is really funny because most of the people who dislike him are on x and it's true the guy does a great job he was just miscast he should have been ken Shi. but then he replies on the leaf saying next film is about kitana and more now that's for the question when the guy says can't wait to see what your role is in this new one with him saying it's about kitana and more now this does make sense because obviously the leak the the the, the, the test screening so far of what we heard they said it was very much a kitana and johnny cage movie it felt like their movie while everyone else was more like a supporting role but the movie felt like it was morely based to suit them too but it makes sense because obviously kitana's a new character who's coming to there we saw a fan in the first film but we saw nothing of her Johnny Cage is also another character who is coming into this film as well. He's a known um, character, a very big character in the MK universe. So it is going to be both of them two's films. Jade and everyone else, as he says, it's theirs and more. That means that there is more than just someone else. He could have said Kitana and someone else and put question marks, but he didn't. He said more, which means that there is a lot more others and it is shared out in a good way, which feels more fleshed out and more equal than what it did in the first film but if it is about Kitana 2 it will make sense because of how the film starts with Adenia with the death of her father and then obviously her growing up and hating Shao Kahn but having to have him as her father or whatever she's going to call him in this film now I know once again the plot will always go back to what about Liu Kang what's his journey I think Kang is taking a second seat again maybe maybe not we don't know but we do know for a fact that he definitely has a lot more better fights in this film and it does come down to him versus Shao Kahn so that's one good thing that we know whether or not how the outcome goes there are two versions out there that people have seen so that's one thing there's another thing and then there's another one where it's like you know you know the, the one that people would want and then the other one is one that people don't want but if him just saying that it is a Kitana, he kind of does confirm that half of the test screening, but not every single thing. But the fact of that, let me know, guys, what do you think? Are you looking at that as a bad thing that he's kind of confirmed that, that it is more of a Kitana film? Do you feel like that looks like it's more of a Kitana and Johnny Cage film then? Or do you think that he's just saying from obviously a standpoint of where it feels like right now, and then it does feel like it's their film, but it makes sense because they're the new characters, they're the top tier characters, and they're the characters that a lot of people have a big fan base through but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy in Matt's future stay frosty peeps peace